forth back in the evening, and the one I've been looking forward to the most, the trademarks back together again versus the tech squad. And though you guys we've seen face each other many times before, and I gotta tell you, we're not supposed to talk about matches that have happened in the past. But every single time we see these guys face each other, it's a completely different match, a completely different dynamic. They come out very strong, very different, and it is just insane. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth, Dash. This is also the match I was most excited for. Besides just the history between both these teams, now there's also a history between Adrian Marks and TC Reed. Because during that ladder match, both of them managed to climb up. One of them got the contract, the other one got the pen. They both have to divide those 10 points. So neither one of them is happy, and they're out for retribution here tonight. They should really be happy when you were in the so it's six other men in that match, which a ladder match between two people is difficult enough. But with six other men in the same match, it makes it almost impossible to climb. The fact that either one of them got five points, I think they should both just be happy with whatever they got. Well, there's still the, the fact that one of them should have gotten the ten points. I think Adrian Marshall was the one who climbed up. He felt he deserved it. TC Reed just snuck in, tried to steal the pants, tried to claim a victory there. But another person who was impressive in that match was Mike Monroe. He actually, he was busted open in that ladder match. He impressed everyone as a singles wrestler. But now they're back here as a tag team. They did. They were both, they, they, although the tech squad didn't work against everybody else, and it wasn't, it wasn't until about the midway through the match that they realized only one person, theoretically at the time, could have won those points, and then they started fighting each other, just trying to see which one was the better man. I'm sure there was no animosity between them, it was just, you know, let the better man win, and, and either one of them would be happy for the other one. Now, back and forth action from T.C. Reed, Adrian Mark. Yeah, did you mention the fact that Mike Monroe got busted open? I forgot that he was in that match. I mean, no, it's nothing against Mike Monroe. I was just, there were so many other competitors. Like I said, there were six other men, and people like Julian Caleb were in there, and they were taking our attention away that I completely forgot Mike Monroe was in there. Yeah, absolutely right. Julian Caleb was very impressive in that match. Impressive right now is Adrian Marks. Just throwing CC Reed around the ring. This is going to be a very even match, and I don't see either one of these teams taking over on the other ones. It just seems like it's going to be the tech squad takes over for a little bit, and then the, the trademarks are going to fire back, and it's just going to be back and forth the whole night because that's that's just the kind of competitors that these guys are. But look at this. Parker on taking down TC Reed. I think the one person I'm. I'm actually interested in seeing in this match is Jason Trade. He doesn't he doesn't wrestle that much very often, but when he goes out there, he can maybe dominate. He's known now for MMA. So maybe do you think he can, you know, maybe hold back a little bit? Yeah, MMA is very aggressive. Yeah, MMA is a little different from professional wrestling. Um, we won't go into how it's different, but it is very different from professional wrestling. And uh, Jason Trade has definitely been hitting the MMA circuit for quite some time now. And I gotta tell you, if I were in the ring with him, I would be scared. Because, you know, in wrestling, you're not allowed to hit the closed fist. Really, I mean, you get a count, but come on. And, you know, there's certain rules that professional wrestling has to abide by, but in MMA, it's just all out, you know, take the next guy out, knock him out, and kill him. That's not how professional wrestling is. Professional wrestling is more of an entertaining industry. I don't think Mike Monroe wants any part of Jason Trade. He ran out of that ring as quickly as he can. There was a lot of build-up for this match on YouTube and on Facebook. The Tech Squad apparently were approached by some some reporter guy who kept wanting a promo from them. They they kept hiding away. Mr. Bear showed up too, and I don't know, it was very entertaining. But I don't think this match is about. Uh, Entertaining the fans as much as it is about proving that they are the better team. Here's, I want to talk about the fans for a second here because you see all those fans sitting in the front row. They clearly have never been to a wrestling show before because from personal experience, three guys are outside, one guy is left in the ring. You need to move out of your seat because that's going to happen. Maybe they wanted the wrestlers to fall on top of them, but it's, nonetheless, that one, that one guy has a wrestler in his lap right now and I don't think he was expecting it. I warned him four times. I did. I warned him four times. So the Tech Squad threw themselves, well, the trademark threw themselves out of the ring onto the Tech Squad. Now we have all the trademarks in the ring working together. Jason Trey picking up Adrian Marks and stopping him. 
And now Jason Trade. 13 to reach the rope and taking him over. Slams him down right to the mat. And now Mike Marlowe trying to come back. And Jason Trade slamming him down too. Trade Marshall Trey control. Is just a huge house of power right now. He's just. He's going nuts. He's just going in that corner just waiting to, to get his hands on somebody. And there, there's the resilience. Mike Monroe, you were talking about, he does not quit. He was taken down, and he only got a two count there. T.C. Reed with a kick to the head of Jason Trey trying to fight back. And now things look like they're finally leaving it out with him. And T.C. Reed, you know, Jason Trey came in like a big house of fire, like nobody can stop him. But somehow, oh, there it is. Here we go. Mike Monroe leaves him up on the shoulders. Uh, Tech's about trying to work together. What a great double team move. Now Mike Monroe going for the pin. One, two, three. What's that? That was that three? No, that was a three. Was that three? Was three? Was three? Was three? Was no. No, that was that. Bruce is not asking for the bell. He said that was two. That was a hair. That was a hair. That was, that was two and three quarters. I'm not sure Jim Sherbert was very happy about that. It looks like he's arguing with Bruce. Can we the talk about Jim Sherbert for a minute? What the hell does he do for the tech squad? I want to know. I, really I was going to ask you what, what role does he play for the... He's supposed to be a manager, but all I ever see him do is look out there and keep wearing the vest. That's all he does. That's all he does. I don't know. Maybe he distracts the... Uh, I don't see him distracting anybody. He's, maybe. He's, he's yelling at Mike Monroe. Oh, wait, wait. Andrew Marks, I'm going to... Giant oh, flipping neck over from Adrian Marks to Mike Monroe. This has got to be it. As resilient as Mike Monroe is, as much punishment as he can take, this has to be it. If Adrian Marks falls over there or stomps on the ground instead of getting the pin for some reason, come on, Adrian Marks. I but think he's silly. The crowd is chanting out again. Adrian Marks doesn't see a TC reach right behind him. Why wouldn't he go for the pin? I think he's just been beat up so much for his back. Driver from TC Reed to Adrian Marks goes to another one on Jason Trey. It's not as easy on Jason Trey. Jason Trey knee to the face. Huge TC Reed. Knee to the face to TC Reed. That's gonna happen. Mike Monroe and a big German suplex to Mike Monroe. I don't care how resilient you are. We've talked about his ability to take punishment before, but Mike Monroe's got to be out. He's got to be done. Here comes Mike Monroe. He comes back. Exactly what I'm talking about. How do you get up from something like that? Oh! Now it's the need to face. Starts over here onto Adrian Marks. Jason Trey trying to come back. And now, another German suplex. Mike Monroe with a German suplex of his own. I gotta tell you, this man, he had a Wheaties this morning. I don't understand how he took that giant suplex and still getting up in that. What? what was a kick or a slap. Oh, oh, but he just took out. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch! Ouch! And he gets a three and the win for I'm the Tech the Squad. Clock. Now Jim Trevera trying to celebrate with the Tech Squad after all the hard work he put in. I was right. I was looking at not saying in the beginning, this is a match that I was looking forward to all night. And I, I'm, I'd be very surprised if anybody topped this. What an effort by both teams. Rare appearance by Jason Trey. Did an amazing job in there. And Adrian oh, Moore. Jim Trevera is doing something. He's checking on his team. Where were you, Shabir? Huh? Where were you earlier? Did you see your best? You're the bottom part that's supposed to be up.